Today, this is going in that. I had somebody ask me recently what I'm using to mount my big gauges. These are four and a half inch from Speed Hut, and I'm using Skillard mounting plates. They mount into the frame right where the original gauge would have bolted in. You, just, you gotta get a different bolt, but other than that, works pretty slick. One of my last videos, I showed a big gap here, and after doing what I had to do with this in the previous videos, I'm actually, I was able to push this down a lot further, and this gap is really close now, so the fitment, fitment now is pretty good around the glove box. I've been with it yet. I've got my side vents hooked up. I just ran, I tried to use a little hot glue at first, but that wasn't really working very well, so just use some regular hose clamps on the ends here. Looks like it's snug enough on the sides that it should just stay on. Maybe. I might hose clamp those too. But I've got all my wiring for the gauges here hanging out the back. And the next step is going to be to pull this dash harness back out of the car. This big, big piece here. And then that's going to get fastened back up to the frame of the dash. Fitment on some things is pretty good. On other things it's just a little tiny bit off, like the vents. Mostly just the vents, I would say. If you were going to do a stock gauge, they would probably have fit just fine in the original pods. And for me, I had to use that aftermarket gauge holder cup. And those were a little bit tighter fit. So if you were to get one of these retro spec dashes and do a stock OEM style conversion, I don't think you'd have much of a problem other than maybe the vents and that could also just be a case-by-case -case type of thing. So we got the harness back in. Looks like an absolute mess now. I'll clean it up a little bit from where it's at there. That's pretty much how it's gonna look in the back for the most part. So since I don't have my tripod yet, it's kinda hard to document every step of this. But this is where we're at now. looks a little bit cleaner without that dash harness strung across. I'm gonna lay some towels down here like this in hopes so I don't scratch the dash up. When I go to put it in the car, I'm kinda nervous this is the part that I've been dreading the most out of the whole project because I don't wanna scratch this thing up and then have to redo all my work again. So the tricky part of this is trying to hold it while you get the wires plugged in because you can't just bolt it up and then plug the wires in. You gotta plug the wires in first. And you've only got so much slack to do it, which is why I've got the towels down. So, here goes. So now I'm close, but it looks like the way I ran this vent hose on a driver's side, it's just gonna bind all up with everything, I think. So, I just gotta undo that quick and then adjust it a little bit. I shouldn't have to take anything out. I don't think I'll have to take the dash out. I can leave it where it's at. And I'll try to get that hose out and adjust it so that I can slide the whole thing in. Uh. 
Might be too early to celebrate, but. Oh my god. That is gonna be the absolute sickest thing. Son of a. Ah, this flashlight, I hate it. Every time I need it, it burns the light bulb out. I gotta plug a lot more wires in yet and double check everything, but there was only a slight bit of carnage. That little tab there. See? That one. That busted, but honestly, it's not that bad. I think I'll be able to just use the screw loosen it up a little bit and then it'll probably still hold it. That's just the vent that directs air out into the tubes to get out to the side vents. So I think that was the only thing I broke and I don't really care about that. Just as long as this thing isn't all scratched to hell which it doesn't look like it is. I got a lot more bolts to put in still. I've got something planned for the glove box door. I think I'm gonna flock that to match all my side panels like that so it's got that nice suede look to it just on the door though so the rest of the dash will be smooth and then the glove box door will be flocked there it is that's got that original vinyl texture to it so that won't really match the smooth new dash anyways so far I'm happy I keep plugging things in we'll see if I'm happy in a couple more minutes so I have almost everything hooked up, everything I should need, and I turn the key on and I turn the lights on and the running lights would come on, but not the headlights. And the needles for the gauges would light up, but not the actual gauges themselves. And so I started wondering, well what the heck, and I was checking my wiring, which now is unplugged at the moment, that's why they're not coming on now. I haven't te retested it yet but I would turn the headlights to on and they wouldn't come on. So I started double checking all my wiring, everything was plugged in, I went to the forums. Somebody said to spray contact cleaner at the base of the column here. And I've never had an issue with the headlights on this thing before, but I didn't have any contact cleaner, so I just grabbed some WD-40, sprayed it on there and wiped off the extra. And lo and behold, headlights work. starting to get cold and I just spent the last hour maybe hour and a half trying to figure out why my gauge lights wouldn't come on now they come on problem was one of these stupid connectors somewhere one of them didn't have a good splice with the wire and so I tore everything apart down here trying to figure out what the problem was and it turns out it was just a bad connection somewhere. So at least my wiring is right. Starting to run out of energy. I've been out here for at least since about noon. I did make one run to the hardware store but otherwise yeah it's been close to 10 hours out here doing this. Fun stuff. Now it's midnight and I'm tired. And I'm cold. My heater's not keeping up. Time to charge a battery. Three days later. Work sent me out for three days straight, which is something a little out of the ordinary. Usually it's just a couple days. And I haven't been able to get to this project in all that time so I haven't been able to film anything. I didn't really edit anything because I didn't have that much content to go off of yet.
That hasn't worked for a while. One of the nice things about being gone for what feels like almost a week is that by the time you get home, all kinds of stuff that you ordered is finally here. Don't mind this mess. A new light for my work light because I keep going through bulbs and I don't know why. And those are all just conventional bulbs. So I'm gonna try an LED and see if that, hopefully it works because it was kind of expensive and I'm gonna be pissed if it doesn't. Aha! Aha! New battery for the camera. So I stopped running out of batteries all the time. And this one, I know just what this is. Here, look at that. Now you guys have your own little bendy pod, so now you can come with me in all sorts of places where the camera wouldn't like to sit before. See, it just bends. You can put it on stuff, and then you mount the camera so you can look out and see stuff. All right, so you guys are all fastened up. Now you got a decent view of this while I work. Obviously I haven't tried the GPS, but it seems to turn on and, and act like it's ready to go. I still haven't calibrated anything, but we got turn signal indicators for our left and right. We got our high beam. guys that's gonna be it for this one I got about as much as I wanted to get done for now at least a couple more things to do right away with the glove box and some trim plates I think I'm gonna leave some of the wiring hanging out a little bit because there's still a couple things left to do with the flex fuel sensor and I think I have the boost controller hooked up right but for now I'd say this dash project is pretty much done. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe. Give this video a like if you found anything helpful or if you just liked it. Follow my Instagram if you want to see more pictures. I upload there almost every day. And keep watching. Got plenty more content to come. Thanks guys.